So today I'm going to show you guys how to fix a loose axe head. So my dad brought me this axe and the eye is here and the part that's coming out, this is kind of mushy and soft. So when using it, especially in the winter, the axe head tends to come off. So I'm going to fix that. Uh, one way that I've done in the past was to add a metal wedge inside it, but I don't use metal wedges at all anymore. I prefer to use wood. I think wood works better. And if you combine the wood with wood glue, it'll stay in there permanently. So here's what I usually do. I got this idea from Julia Kaltoff from Kaltoff Axis. I think that's the name of the company. So first what I'll do is I'll make relief cuts in here. I've already done this. The cut is probably all the way to here right now. I have a wooden wedge ready to go. The wedge will ideally go down as far as possible, but I think it will probably only reach to around the line two or three. Here's the wedge and here's the glue. I'll just put some glue on it. I've seen some people put way too much glue on it. I don't think any more than this is necessary for this one. Even this is kind of a lot. I don't like having it drip everywhere, so I tend to use less. I'll just put it in here like that and just lightly tap it in. I am indoors in an apartment. Also, I should say that I've chamfered the edges of the wedge. When you do that, there's less chance of the wedge splitting. So anyway, I'll stop here and we'll transfer to outside and I'll give it a good whack outside. As you can see here, the wedge has already gone in and it's starting to mushroom out. That's good. And as we bang it in more, it's going to expand inside and split the wood. I've come outside because I want to be respectful to my neighbors. I have a really solid surface here. It's a part of the train track. So what I'll do is I'll just bang it in like that. Let's see how far it goes in. Oh, we went all the way to the fourth line. I didn't expect it to go that far. And I think we can still go a bit further. Okay, now I'll try a bit like this. So the wedge is in, but it's not dry yet. I prefer to let the glue dry because if you cut it when it's wet, it tends to get your tools really messy and I don't like doing the cleanup. So, But once the glue dries, what I'll do is I'll cut probably around here. That way it'll clean up everything and uh, it'll all look like one piece. So it's dry now. I like to use this Zet saw. This is usually used for cutting dowels because it bends really easily like that. So your axe head usually has a curve. And what you can do with this is you can put your finger like that and have the saw bent. If you use a regular saw, very likely you're going to hit the teeth on the metal and ruin your saw. But with this one, that won't happen. Take a utility knife or a carving knife and clean up the edges like this. Usually I like to have at least a centimeter sticking out, but because so much of it was damaged from before, I had to cut more off. And I'll sand this to make it smooth. So I guess I'll leave it like that. You can see this is the maple handle, the original mahogany wedge, and then the recent black ash wedge that I put in there. So we have three kinds of wood in here. That's kind of cool. After the glue has dried for 24 hours, I'll put linseed oil on this. The linseed oil will be absorbed inside the handle and it'll expand the wood even more. 